today is all about kind of like showing you what you can find if you take a visit to Lake Superior. The kind of rocks that you can find. There's such a variety of beautiful rocks. All of these rocks are like, how can I explain this? They're all like smooth. Like most rocks that you find, you got to put in a rock tumbler to get them smoothed out. But almost all the rocks in Lake Superior are already tumbled just by the natural waves and the sand grinding on them in the lake. So all you really have to do with most of them that you collect from Lake Superior is if you have a rock tumbler or a vibrating tumbler, all you got to do basically is polish most of them. You don't really have to go through the tumbling because they're so smooth already. Like this one's just absolutely slick, smooth, and beautiful. All it needs is to be polished. Just amazing. This one almost looks like it could be a waterline agate. But possibly not. I mean, there's so many, so many different rocks in Lake Superior. I mean, there's no way you could <laughs> learn them all. As you can see, there's just such a variety. This one's beautiful too. Lots and lots of quartz. Um, this kind of stuff. Um, beautiful little pieces like this here. So beautiful. Big smooth quartz. Amazing, amazing stuff. Uh, Let's look at this one. Absolutely beautiful. Um, you can find fossils there too, but I don't think I put any fossils in this tub. One or two stones are in here from Lake Michigan. The rest are all Lake Superior. Like this is Lake Michigan. As you can see, it's not as smooth. It's all bumpy. Um, they don't get as smooth as they do in Lake Superior. More of a bumpy texture. Um, this one I don't know. It's just an odd one that I found. It has a weird hole in it. Don't know. Um, this one possibly could be an agate. Like I said, I haven't even looked at these yet. I just dumped them out of my pail. The ones on the bottom of my pail are from uh, Lake Michigan. And these are all from Lake Superior. These are all from one visit, one trip, one visit, two beaches, just two beaches. Just amazing. This one almost looks like it could be an agate too. I will be checking them out. Some are just uh, maybe not so pretty, but interesting. This one has a shimmer more so when it was dry I see now that it's why it's not shimmering as much that's a beautiful one which beautiful quartz now you can find ones that are much much larger than these there's you know from little tiny ones to huge ones if you want beautiful pieces like such as this if you found a real large one of this won't that be pretty in a rock garden in your yard it just has amazing amazing designs on it really like that one. A little beautiful pieces of quartz like this. Um, bigger quartzy. Um, you can find slag in Lake Superior, mostly near Munising, Michigan. Um, you can find jaspalite. Somewhere, jaspalite. Okay, here's a little piece of jaspalite, which I you can find tons of this in Copper Harbor. Pretty much the whole beach is this. They're just amazing. Even these green, you know, maybe like I said, not so pretty, but very interesting. Very, very interesting rocks. Like I love this kind of quartzy stuff with the multicolors. It's just, just beautiful. Like I said, all of these are so smooth already that all I really have to do is run them through a polish and they will shine. I don't need to 
tumble them to get rid of any rough edges. Here's a beautiful one. Possibly some egg, egg stuff going on in that one too. Uh, I don't know why I grabbed this one. It's not that great, I see. But when you're out there, you just grab and grab. And they're full of sand. You don't really know, you know. And uh, but I figure while I'm there, I'm going to grab as much as I can. And they just go in my rock garden anyway. Someday I'll show you my rock garden, like after it rains. It's not that pretty until it rains. <laughs> yeah. White quartz. Lots of white quartz. Some unique looking ones, like different, say, like a basalt on one side and then some granite and something else. Pretty cool. And then look at this one. This one's really interesting. I hope it's focusing because it is so cool. If you love rocks, um, yeah, if you like rocks, you love the rocks from Lake Superior, you will not be disappointed. You will go home with this, no problem. You might go home with more. You can bring 10 pails if you wanted to. <laughs> well, I think there's a limit on how much you're supposed to take home. Um, this is my favorite, I think. I don't know. I just love this rock. I really hope it's showing up. All I can see on my screen is total black. So I don't know if it's showing up, but it's just amazing. This one has some pass possibly as an idiot. Look at that on top. You just never know. Um, if you don't know what is out there in Lake Superior, this is what's there. And um, they're just amazing just amazing rocks. You don't have to just go there for jasper and agates and amethyst. You can go for a variety of beautiful, unique looking rocks. I like a variety like this. Variety is beautiful and definitely easier to find than an agate. <laughs> Agates are very hard to find. Um, if you find some, you're you're lucky. I'll say that you're pretty lucky. That have quartz that have absolutely awesome designs on them. My squirrels are here. <laughs> yeah, like always. Here you go, George. I got a George number two that comes now. There you go, George number two. How oh, they'll fight. <laughs> okay, I got them fed a little bit. Look at that one right there. So awesome. I mean, just look at these designs. And what's nice about Lake Superior rocks is that they are all pretty soft and smooth. All they need is the polish stage. If you're going to rock tumble. This is from my last visit up there. It's so sunny that the screen is um, total blackness to me, so I don't know if these are showing up. They do. They do have slag up there at certain beaches. Beautiful slag, which I get a lot of that here. So pretty. When I look at these, all I want to do is go back up north. Jasper, I believe, could be a form of granite. This one could be an agate. As you can see, there's little bits of banding going on. Oh yeah, that definitely could be one. Rock hounding in Lake Superior. This is what you'll see. It's just full of all these beautiful, awesome rock. You just you will go home happy with what, what you found. You'll never be disappointed. Never. I guess that's it. I just, I just wanted to share some of these with you because 
lot of times I don't show these on video. I just show a couple. One trip. This is one haul from a trip to Lake Superior. Like I said, you will not be disappointed. You will come home with a variety of beautiful, colorful rocks. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a great day. Bye-bye.